Bonjour les étudiants. Welcome back. Uh, it's been a long time, I guess. Um, we almost finished the portion and I got a good news for you. Uh, it's, uh, we don't have any new composition for this term. Okay, so we'll be having just the compositions of the previous term. So that is from lesson 1 to 4. Uh, the présentez-vous, the présentez votre famille, décrivez votre maison and uh, the carte postale. Okay, just revise those. And even the opposites, we don't have much of opposites this time. We just got 14, okay, both lessons combined, 7 in uh, lesson 5 and 7 in lesson 6. And uh, so today's class will be saying uh, the future sampler and then the excises uh, that we omitted the previous class. Okay, so uh, with uh, uh, those excises we will be doing some three excises, uh, the future sample, the three excises, then the opposites. That's it. And then you can get ready for the exam. So composition, so I repeat. So it's actually from the first four lessons. Okay? So merci beaucoup. We'll go to the slides now. So here, le futur simple. So first we'll see how uh, we conjugate, right, the formation of future sample. Then we'll go for the meanings here, okay, so we'll see this later, okay, first we'll concentrate on the first three columns. Le futur simple, so the future tense, it's one of the future tense like a, a future proche, we already saw, right, le futur proche, so which means near future, we'll be using the verb aller. So if you don't remember, so it's a small recap. Uh, for example, the verb travailler will be conjugated like je vais travailler, tu vas travailler, il va travailler, elle va travailler, nous allons travailler, vous allez travailler, ils vont travailler, elles vont travailler. So we'll be conjugating the verb aller and then we'll be adding the infinitive form, right? So for each and every tense, we got a rule. As you know, so for passé composé, we'll be conjugating the auxiliary avoir or at then we'll be adding the participle passé past participle so for each and every verb we'll be learning the past participle right for the uh, er ending verbs it's simple we cut r add an accent over the e uh, but actually for the irregular verbs it's a bit different so you got to memorize the past participles in passé composé the same thing here in future sample so what you have to memorize, it's actually the radical, okay, the radical of each and every verb, okay, so what is the radical? So before adding the endings, okay, so before adding the endings, so the verb, the form of the verb, we call it as radical, okay, sujet, je, tu, il, elle, nous, vous, il, elle, then comes the radical, so for example, the verb travailler, so it's an ER ending verb. So for normal, regular, ER ending verb, the radical, it's easy to find. It's the same as the infinitive form. The verb travailler, T-R-A-V-A-I-L-L-E-R. It's actually the name, right? The infinitive form of the verb. So will be the same. The radical will be the same. Je, travailler, you write the whole thing. Then we add the endings. Terminaison means endings. So the endings you got to memorize for the ER ending verbs for present tense. Uh, you know the endings, right? Uh, e, E, S, E, E, O, N, S, E, Z, E, N, T, E, N, T, right? So for future samplers, so these are the endings. A, I, A, S, A, A, O, N, S, E, Z, O, N, T, O, N, T. So hope you remember this is actually uh, similar to the conjugation of the verb avoir in present tense. Just for nu and vu, the av it's missing. Right? So the rest it's actually the verb avoir. You can see a i a s a a, and then o n t o n t. So it's an easy way to memorize to remember the endings of future sum. It's actually the verb avoir in present tense, right? So what we'll be doing it's actually we just add the ending with the radical. So je travaillerai here. Je travaillerai. Tu travailleras. Il travaillera, elle travaillera, nous travaillera, pardon, nous travaillerons, vous travaillerez, ils travailleront, elles travailleront. Right? So, nous travaillerons, okay, it's ONS, is it, it's a typo. So, this is it. So, je travaillerai, which means I will work, okay, I will work, it's je travaillerai. 
oui. So tu travailleras, it's you will work. Il travaillera, he will work. Elle travaillera, she will work. Nous travaillerons, we will work. Vous travaillerez, you will work. Ils travailleront, they will work. Elle travailleront, they will work. So this is actually the conjugation. This is how the uh, future sample is formed. For ER ending verbs, it's simple. Okay, so what about the irregular verbs? Like our at those 30 verbs like we saw as an example. So here. So the future sample. So the same rule follows. Sujet. Radical. Terminaison. The sujet, as you know, je tue il al nouveau il al. Okay. So here we got a list of a uh, few uh, irregular verbs. Avoir. Être. Aller. Venir. Faire. Lire. Finir. Sortir. Prendre. Okay. So we got a more uh, number of verbs. But uh, for this lesson, in this lesson, these verbs are used. Okay, some of these verbs are used. So we'll just see these verbs, not the rest. So the radical for avoir, it's or, a u r, a u r. It's radical of the verb avoir for future sample. Right? So for the irregular verbs, it will be different. For avoir the past participle, you remember, it's e u, right? Avoir at it's e t e t e. So likewise, for future sample, you got to memorize, you got to remember the radicals of these verbs. For example, avoir, it's A-U-R. For être, it's S-E-R. For aller, it's an E-R ending verb. As you know, it's an irregular. So I-R, venir, V-I-E-N-D-R. It's not an I-R ending verb. It's E-N-I-R ending verb. Now, if it's an I-R ending verb, it will be the same, like finir, sortir. So even for the T-I-R ending verbs, the radical will be the same as the infinitive form. Right? So ale it's I-R. Venir it's viandre. Far it's fer, F-E-R. Lir it's L-I-R. Finir it's finir, the same. Sortir, sortir. Prendre. It's prendre, but without this E. For the R-E ending verbs, uh, mostly, okay, you'll be having radicals like this. The endings remains the same. A I A S A A O N S E Z O N T O N T. Right? So, for example, we take the verb at and we conjugate. Je serai. Tu seras. Il sera. Al sera. Nous serons. Vous serez. Ils seront. Al seront. Right? So, for example, the verb lire. Je lirai. Tu liras. Il lira. Al lira, nu liron, vu lire, il liron, al liron. So that way, right? So now we'll go for the exercises. Try to conjugate some five, uh, six verbs. Okay, any six verbs, three verbs in ER, three verbs irregular. So in your notebook, so that you will be, you won't be having any trouble, right? Conjugating in the exercises. Now we'll see the exercises that we left, um, the previous week. So, mettez le verbe au futur simple. This is actually the second exercise. Right? The second exercise, mettez le verbe au futur simple. So, you got bra uh, verbs in bracket. So, you got finir, regarder, travailler, prendre, être. So, the first thing what you have to do is you, you got the subject. The subject is given already. Je. Finir. The verb finir is given. So, what is the radical of the verb finir? It's an IER ending verb. So the radical will be the same. Finir. Then you add the ending. Je finirai. A-I. Oui? Finirai. F-I-N-I-R-A-I. -I. Il. Regardez la Coupe du Monde du Cricket. Coupe du Monde, which means the World Cup. Okay, the Cricket World Cup. Regardez, you can see it's an IER ending verb. Okay, so ER ending verb. So just if you got an ER ending verb, just leave it. Just add the ending. Remove the bracket and add the ending. Il regardera. We'll be adding A. Just an A after R. Il regardera la Coupe du Monde du Cricket. Okay, so which means he will watch the Cricket World Cup. Nous travailler. So travailler as we already saw as an example. So travailler to work. And travailler, it's an ER ending verb, so we leave, leave it as it is. For nous, what's the ending? It's O-N-S. 
nous travaillerons toute la journée. Ok, we will work the whole day. Ok, travaillerons. T r a v a i l l i r o n s. O n prendre. The verb prendre, which means to take, is given. So, what is the radical? Prendre without e, right? And what is the ending for o n? It's a. Oui. On prendra de la glace comme dessert. Ok, which means we will take some ice cream as dessert. So, tu être à Paris demain soir. So, être, what is the radical of the verb être? So, as we conjugated, S-E-R. S-E-R is the radical. So, tu sera, S-E-R-A-S. Oui, tu sera à Paris demain soir. So, you will be at Paris tomorrow evening. Yeah, now we'll check the answers here. So, je finirai. Il regardera, nous travaillerons, on prendra, tu seras. Oui? Voilà, so please copy it correctly. Try it on your own first, then please check the answers. Here. So now we are going to the third exercise. Mettez les verbes au futur simple again. So you got to put the verbs in uh, future sample. The same thing, so you got verbs in bracket. Oui? So you can see the verbs uh, that we saw in the list. So augmenter. Okay, le père de Pierre annonce une bonne nouvelle à sa famille. So Pierre's father. Okay, Pierre's father announces a good news to his family. It's kind of dialogue. Le père, le mois prochain, mon salaire augmenté. Augmenté, which means to raise, to increase. So he says, the next month, my salary will get increased. Oui? Will increase. Oui? So augmenté, it's an ER ending verb. Oui? So the radical, it's augmenté itself. Mon salaire, we take it for il form, the third person, singular. Mask line, il. Oui, so what is the ending? A. Mon salaire augmentera. K-U-G-M-E-N-T-E-R-A. Augmentera. La mer. Ah bon? Or oh, is it? Well. Vous achetez bientôt un nouvel appartement. So, which means you will buy uh, soon a new apartment. So... Acheter the verb, it's an ER ending verb. So, vous acheterez. So, ER ending, so we leave it as it is. So, acheter, then we add the ending for vous. What is the ending for vous, for future sample? Is it, vous acheterez bientôt un nouvel appartement. La fille, the girl. En plus, papa, nous dash en vacances souvent. And also, Dad, we will go for vacation often. We often, we will often go for vacation. So that's what she means. So the verb aller, it's given. So as you saw, it as an exception. So the verb aller, what is the radical of the verb aller? It's I R, right? So it will be nu zero I R, the radical. Then we add the ending. So for nu, it's O N S I R O N S. En plus, papa, nous irons en vacances souvent. Voilà, so Pierre. Je dash des jeux vidéo. Je sortir souvent avec mes amis au restaurant. So, a typical guy. So, je avoir. So, the verb avoir to be conjugated. So, avoir, what is the radical of avoir? Ye, you, are. Remember? Ye, you, are is the radical. And the ending, it's A-I. But J apostrophe will be there. Not J-E because it starts with a vowel. Okay, so we change this. J apostrophe. Y-U-R-A-I. Jure de jeu vidéo. Which means I will get some video games. Then the verb sortir. Je sortir souvent avec mes amis au restaurant. Je sortirai. The radical of sortir, it's sortir itself. Then the ending is A-I, 
Je sortirai souvent avec mes amis au restaurant. I will often go out with my friends to the restaurant. Oui. So now we'll check the answers for the first half. Here. Augmentera. Achetere. Oui, achetere. So we'll be adding an accent, so don't forget. In present tense, we don't add accent for the nu and for the wu form. But here we do add, for future sample, we add accent uh, for all uh, the forms. Je tu l'al, nu vu l'al. Nous irons. J'aurai. Je sortirai. Yeah. So now we'll go to the second half of the exercise. Here. Une semaine plus tard. So actually we saw the first half of the dialogue, which means the dad announces uh, good news, which means they are, uh, his salary is going to increase. Right? He's going to get a hike in his salary. But one week later, what he says, okay, he announces to his family. Le mois prochain, so everything will be in negation. So next month, uh, my salary is not going to increase. Okay, will not increase. Right? So that way. So we'll be just doing the same thing. Ne pas augmenter, so the ne will be placed before, it becomes n apostrophe. N'augmentera pas. Oui, le mois prochain. Mon salaire n'augmentera pas. So la mer, ah bon? Alors, vous n'achèterez pas. N apostrophe again. Achèterez will be the same spelling as the previous one. A-C-H-E accent. T-E-R-E-Z. Pas. Bientôt un nouvel appartement. So, bientôt can come even before uh, pas, uh, but still it's fine. Un nouvel appartement. La fille, en plus, papa, nous n'irons plus. We'll no longer go to vacation. Oui? So, nous n'irons. N apostrophe, I-R-O-N-S. Then comes plus. P L U S. Okay, so it will be an apostrophe. Okay, because the radical starts with the vowel I R. Nous n'irons plus en vacances. We will no longer go to vacation, or we'll no more go for vacation. Pierre, je n'aurai pas de jeux vidéo. Right? Je n'aurai pas de jeux vidéo, so I will not get any video games. Oui, je n'aurai pas de jeux vidéo. N apostrophe. Oui, but J will be the same. J. N apostrophe. Y U R A I P A S. D S changes to D. Oui, de jeux vidéo. Je ne sortirai pas souvent avec mes amis au restaurant. I will not go out often with my friends to the restaurant. Oui, so here is the answers. N'augmentera pas. N'achèterai pas bientôt un nouvel appartement. N'irons plus en vacances. J'aurai des jeux vidéo. Right? So the negation, I didn't change. So please try to put on in the negation form. Je n'aurai pas de. Right? J-E, N apostrophe, A-U-R-A-I, P-A-S, D-E, jeux vidéo. Okay? It's just a small test that if you are listening or not. Voilà. Oui, voilà. Je ne sortirai pas souvent avec mes amis au restaurant. Oui. Voilà. So we'll move on to the fifth exercise. This is the last exercise, I guess. Yeah. Voilà. So faire des phrases au futur simple avec finir, rencontrer, regarder, faire, lire. So they have given some five verbs and in which you got to uh, match the right one. Okay. So first you got to put the appropriate verb for the sentence. Then we'll conjugate the verb uh, in future sample with the given subject. So, je, un roman de Malraux. Un roman, which means a novel. Okay, a book, a storybook, a novel. So, we better view, use the verb lire. Lire, to read. Oui, je, lire. Oui, L-I-R is a radical. A-I, the ending. Je lire un roman de Malraux. So, no. A match the cricket. A match, okay, a cricket match, right? So we watch. We watch a cricket match. So in future sample, we will watch a cricket match. So regarde. So it's an ER ending verb. Regarde. Then we add the ending. ONS. 
R E G A R D E R O N S. Nous regarderons un match de cricket. Al, le jogging. Le jogging, it's an action. It's an activity, a sports activity. So, we use the verb far. Oui? Al, so the radical for far, do you remember? Yes? No? Raise your hands. I'm mean, kidding. So, F E R. Okay, F E R is the radical. So, al, F E R. The ending is A. Al fera, le jogging. Okay, she will do jogging. Il dash ses amis. So rencontre. Okay, rencontre, which means to meet. He meets his friends. He will meet his friends. So it's an ER ending verb. Don't get confused. But careful with the spelling. We often get confused with the spelling. So rencontre. Il rencontre. Then we add a. Il rencontrera. Il rencontrera ses amis. R E N C O N T R E R A. Says Ami. He will meet his friends. So the last one. Pauline A. Natalie. Dash. Let the war. So one verb which remains. It's finir. Pauline and Natalie. Finish. Right? They are the homeworks. So Pauline and Natalie will finish the homeworks. Right? So finir. The radical. It's finir itself. F I N I R. Pauline A. Natalie, so the subject is plural, third person, so, and it's feminine. Pauline and Natalie both are girls. So we take it for the AL, E L L E S form. So what is the ending? It's O N T. Pauline A. Natalie, finiron. Finiron, les devoirs, F I N I R O N T. Finiron les devoirs. Okay, so now we'll check the answers. Je lirai un roman de Malraux. Nous regarderons un match de cricket. Elle fera le jogging. Il rencontrera ses amis. Pauline et Nathalie finiront les devoirs. So, if you don't remember, I mean, if you don't understand or remember these things, so please watch it again and again. So, for more times. So, because it's not uh, uh, an exercise or a grammar part can be understood in the very first time. So you got to practice, you got to watch it uh, and apply it in your sentences. So, voilà. So now we'll go for the opposites. Oui? Voilà. And here, uh, the opposites, we don't have much. Okay, very, we have very few. And uh, so here we got seven from uh, lesson five and uh, seven from lesson six. Right, that's it. So it's really easy. So try to uh, revise the old ones, okay, the opposites of the previous first four lessons. And uh, then you can uh, learn this, okay. These are easy. That's really easy here. So here. So lesson 5. J'apprends. J'enseigne. Apprendre. Enseigner. Aimer. Détester. Souvent. Rarement. Parfois. Souvent. Vrai. Faux, libre, occupé. So j'apprends, which means I learn. J'enseigne, which I teach. Apprendre, to learn. Enseigner, to teach. So careful. So the verb is conjugated here for the form, for the subject je. So we'll be conjugating the same for je. Okay, so even if it's given in the infinitive form, you've got to give the infinitive form. Apprendre to learn, enseigner to teach, aimer to like, to love, détester to hate. Right? So it's an infinitive form. So infinitive form. Souvent, souvent which means often, rarement which means rarely. Right? So souvent, rarement, parfois. So parfois which means at times. Okay. So sometimes or at times. So we say parfois. Right? So, even for this, you can say souvent. Oui, souvent, which means often. You can even write toujours. Okay, toujours, which means always. Even that's fine. Oui, voilà. So, parfois, souvent. Vrai, faux. Right, vrai, faux. We saw this since uh, some 80, 90 years. Right? So, vrai, faux, true, false. Libre, occupé. 
so libro which is free occupates is busy occupied okay libro occupy okay? often will be conjugated with the verb atro okay? and uh, libre doesn't mean uh, free of cost okay it's mean uh, so free time okay je suis libre okay tu es libre okay so i'm free you are free okay? so that way je suis occupé tu es occupé okay so uh, libre which means free occupy which means occupied or busy so we'll move to the next lesson 6 nouvelle okay so nouvelle vi so it's actually given in the masculine form okay so we write the masculine form vi okay new old okay you can even write ancien or right? even that's fine la chance oui la chance which means lucky oui okay? la chance luck oui okay? so la chance la malchance oui okay? so la malchance which means the unlucky thing oui okay? so la malchance je viendrai je viendrai j'irai so you can see the verb which is conjugated it is venir and what tense it is conjugated it's future simple so for je form so venir so you got to go to the infinitive form so it's venir so what is the opposite it's actually the verb aller then you got to find the radical then you got to conjugate it in future simple okay hey, je viendrai j'irai okay hey. ensemble ensemble which means together ensemble together seul alone oui alone ensemble seul un ami un ami a friend an enemy an enemy which means an enemy oui a friend an enemy accepter to accept refuser to deny to refuse accept the infinitive form refuse to refuse il vendra il vendra il achètera so here the verb vendre is conjugated right so are uh, ending verb as i told you so we have cut the e and added the ending vendra don't get confused with viandre viandra it's vendra so this is to sell okay which means he will sell il vendra which means he will sell so the uh, opposite it's, it's a verb acheter right so achetera il achetera will be conjugating in future sum so that's it for now and uh, so guys all the best for the exam so maybe if we got another class we'll be revising so if not uh, that's it okay so as i told you it's a small uh, uh, i'll repeat it once again so this time we don't have any new composition okay so we'll be having from the old lessons so from the first four lessons that we saw so prepare the presentez vous présentez votre famille uh, the uh, décrivez votre maison and uh, écrivez une carte postale so revise those we'll be just having any one right among the four and uh, so the grammar exercises and the translations everything we saw right so and then the opposite see how we got Voilà. Okay, so bon courage, bonne chance pour l'examen. Take care, be safe.